All right, we're going to be putting this uh, computer together. Uh, I've already pulled off some memory to the side. Um, just a few, few sticks here. Um, I got a bucket full of it. But uh, what we need to do is none of this memory is tested. So we need to test it. So we're going to be able to do that. Uh, this is a known working hard drive. So we don't need to test that. It is a 80 gig hard drive. So we're going to go ahead. And the best way to test the memory is I like to put in two at a time. So here's two one gig sticks. And let's see what happens. You got to make sure you put them in the first slot, which if you look right here, it says DIM1. And then DIM2 is right here. Make sure that they're seated firmly and everything's going to pop up on this screen so we're going to see if we can get it to post okay it's not posting we're not getting any beep codes but we got a light three and four so we're gonna go ahead unplug it let's take out this memory actually let's do it the other way and we're gonna go ahead and unplug it and we're gonna take out this memory right here and dim slot two and let's see what happens we gotta plug it back in Again, we have uh, trouble codes three and four. So this memory stick is probably not any good. Let's try that. Take that one out. We suspect that one to be no good. Let's put this one in. And the computer is now booting. All right, we got the post. So that's a good memory stick. So I got some uh, 512s here. We'll put one in DIM2 and this one in DIM3. If we get a trouble code, we'll pull out DIM3. And if we don't get a trouble code, then we know they're both good. Got no trouble codes, but the computer turned off. Let's push the button again. And it looks like we're going to be posting. Yes, we did. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put this back in. And on these Dells, it just clicks in like that. All right, now that we got it to post, we need to check to see uh, how it's going to boot up. So we're going to go into the DOS screen. We're going to check the boot se sequence. And what we're going to be looking for here is the CD-ROM being above the hard drive. And we see that right here in this case. This is our CD-ROM. There is no floppy drive present. Uh, there is no onboard SATA drive, uh, which means like a PCI or a hard drive that's attached like that. We have this hard drive that is attached and we can see that the CD-ROM is up. Uh, if we needed to change that, you would hit enter. And right down here, you'll see it says uh, UD to change the order. So 
And that's just just like that. I'm hitting the uh, letters U and D on the keyboard. It's it's really just that simple. Uh, actually, I like to have that one right there. So after you're done making any changes you need to, you would hit Enter again, and then you'll hit Escape and save your changes. So now we need to put in a operating system. We're actually going to be installing Windows 7 today. All right, I just inserted the CD. Uh, we're going to be doing uh, Windows. We're, I just installed the CD, and we're going to be doing Windows 7 install. This is a old installation that was on the hard drive, and we're going to be reformatting that. Uh, I went ahead and did Control Alt Delete, which should take us back to the beginning of the boot sequence. Seven. If you would like to watch me do an install of Windows, let me know and I will get a video uploaded of that. There's already a lot of great videos uh, on how to install Windows. 